If you want to know how to make your Guild Wars 2 look stunning and immersive, then stick around, because I'll show you exactly how to do it. Hello everyone, and welcome back, my name is Relzor, and here's everything you need to know about graphics in Guild Wars 2. First, let's talk about your frames, and what destroys them. There's five big settings that'll take a massive amount of your frames, and those are reflections, shadows, character model limit, character model quality, and effect level of detail. Having reflections and shadows maxed out will make the game look absolutely stunning, and I'd highly recommend doing that if your PC can handle it. However, if you're having trouble, try lowering these settings. You can turn reflections down to terrain and sky and not lose too much detail whilst getting a lot of frames back. Turning shadows down will adjust the amount of detail they show. Turning your shadows down to high will offer a nice amount of detail while still giving you lots of frames. Between low and none, I personally don't see too much of a difference in terms of frames, so I'd recommend just keeping them set to low if you're struggling to have them on high. Character model limit and quality are absolute beasts, and they're not to be taken lightly. I'd recommend keeping these on low all the time to keep your frames nice and stable, possibly even putting them on the lower settings for things like world bosses. That being said, if you do fancy raiding, there are some enemies that appear invisible if you have these settings on the lowest quality. So make sure you keep that in mind and keep them on low or medium for things like raids. Finally, there's Effect Level of Detail, or Effect LOD for short. This will affect how many spells appear on your screen at once. Ticking this box will help limit the amount you see to give you a much larger amount of frames in group content, and to save you from burning your eyes out. Now that's out of the way, let's talk about what you should do to make your game look immersive and stunning. In the general settings, I'd recommend turning off show all enemy names, NPC names, and item names to help with immersion. If you scroll down to groups, I'd also advise turning on simple party UI to remove some clutter. Okay, so next we have the camera settings, and this is 100% personal preference, but I'd recommend adjusting your horizontal position to the side of your character. I have mine on the right side of my character, and you wouldn't think this makes a big difference, but honestly, changing this one setting makes the game so much more immersive, it's unbelievable. Next we have the graphics settings, and if you have a newer built PC, you shouldn't really have any trouble running most of these settings on high and ultra, just keep in mind what we talked about at the start of the video, with shadows and reflections. For the tick boxes, I keep ambient occlusion on, best texture filtering on, since this affects things like cloth or cape physics, Depth Blur on, you can turn this off if you don't like it, but I feel like it makes the game more immersive. High res character textures on, light adaptation is turned off, turning this on will make all areas of the game much brighter, however having this turned off will make areas like caves dark and immersive. It's personal preference, but I recommend giving it a try. And last of all, let's talk about shaders. Shaders are optional, but they can really help add a lot of depth and sharpness to the world. That being said, it's very easy to go overboard with them, and add way too much. Everyone's taste is different, but I personally like to make shaders enhance the game and not change it. There are two options that I know of for shaders, these are G-Shade and Reshade. I'm using Reshade for my game, however both of these are very straightforward to download and install. If you're using Reshade, just download the client and run it, making sure to select Guild Wars 2 when asked what game you want to install Reshade onto. Once you're all done and back in the game, you can open Reshade by clicking the home button on your keyboard. The shaders that I use are HDR and Lightroom, just to increase the depth of shadows and detail in all the textures, and to slightly adjust the lighting in the game. Now get out there and enjoy! If you found this video helpful, Hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week. My name is Relzor, and I'll see you next time.